So if I told you that you could take an injection once a week and you would lose 15% of your body weight, a lot of people would want to sign up for that because that sounds like a pretty great deal. And the makers of Wegovi, which is a high dose semaglutide, uh, you might be familiar with the brand name at a lower dose is called Ozempic. Um, that is what they're hoping. They're hoping that you'll hear that and you will just rush to go buy some Wagovi um, and lose some weight with it. So are those numbers real? Well, for 68 weeks, those numbers actually do seem to be real based off the trial that they put out for Wegovi, which is this high dose zemaglutide. Um, but there's some kind of asterisks there. There's some question marks. There's some things that we probably should discuss and see if this makes sense. Uh, first of all, this is a medicine that has been around for, for quite some time for diabetes treatment, semaglutide. It's uh, marketed as Ozempic, like I said before. And this is a higher dose of that that is pitched for weight loss because they noticed when they were studying for diabetes that a number of the folks who were on it managed to lose weight. And they figured this is another indication. This could be another use for it. And uh, why not try and see if they could get some weight loss data? And they did. And it was actually pretty reasonable data. So when they compared... Uh, Wagovi to placebo, they found that people lost a significantly larger amount of weight. At 68 weeks, the average person on this Wagovi dose had lost 15% of their body weight compared to about 2.5% for those who were on the placebo. Um, but there's some, again, some, some clarifications we need to make in there. This was not just do everything as you used to do it and take your injection and you lose 15% of your body weight. Um, everybody, even those on the placebo, was advised to do calorie restriction diet they were given weight loss counseling they were put in essentially a comprehensive weight loss plan and they managed to lose all that weight so there are other things to think about as well when you look at this one is the cost if you were to ask me hey dr bland how much do you think this costs i generally just start with a lot whenever it's a new medicine and this medicine does not disappoint currently good rx sows this medicine cash value at $1,300 per month. Um, for the record, that is more than my house payment right now and um, more than any two cars I have ever bought at the same time. That is a lot of money, right? $1,300 a month, that is a large amount of money. Um, but the pitch is that maybe your insurance will cover it. Um, I don't know off the top of my head that Medicaid does. My understanding is they do not, at least in my current state. Um, maybe commercial plans will cover it on the, the premise that it might be cheaper than some of the other side effects and costs of healthcare that come with morbid obesity. Uh, but this is a very, very expensive medicine, which is a thing that you have to consider because it may not even be financially viable for you. The other thing to think about is side effects and some of the negative effects because every medicine has strings attached, right? Um, over 80% of people claim that they had some sort of side effect, whether it's nausea, diarrhea, constipation. Weird that you can have like diarrhea and constipation as complaints. Uh, but a lot of people had some sort of upset on it. Now, less than 10 people and less than 10% of people ended up bailing on the medicine itself during the trial. So it seemed to be something that they thought they could tolerate and they could ride through. It seemed to be temporary nature was minor enough. Uh, but there was almost 10% of people who felt that they had serious adverse events, things that could be actually like, like health risks. So this was not a completely risk-free or cost-free medication, but it's hard to discount the notion that the average person on this lost over 15% of their body weight. And if you're dealing with, you know, full-size full size men who are already overweight, um, that's weight loss in excess of 30 pounds, uh, which is a significant amount of weight loss over the course of a year. I know that the, the TV show Biggest Loser got a lot of people with uh, unrealistic expectations about weight loss where people expect to lose 20 and 30 pounds in a week. That is not normal people stuff. Losing 30 or 40 pounds over the course of a year is a very successful year in the terms of weight loss. And so I don't want to take away that from the, the makers of Wagovi. That's pretty good data. Um, there are some things that should be mentioned. Again, this is very expensive. There was a lot of side effects. And I'm just going to throw it out there. When I look at the graph, and I'll put a picture of it up for you to see from the, um, the New England Journal of Medicine. I'll put a picture of the graph up for the weight loss. Just look at week 60. Look at, look at the end there. It seems like the trials seem to cut off as soon as the people started to gain some weight back just a little bit. Now, not a ton, but as soon as the weight loss stopped, all of a sudden the, the trial stopped. Um, I got to be honest with you. I, I'm a little initially suspicious when I see a picture like that. It, 
who knows um, if it's meant to be a forever medicine. I don't really have great data on if they come off of, off of this, if it's um, how much of this weight loss stays. A lot of folks, even after bariatric surgery, gain some of their weight back. So I do think that one of the things to be worth considering is if you are pursuing long-term weight loss, I think that it might be worth considering your emotional relationship with food. You might need some therapy. Um, you need to consider working on lifestyle habits because I do not believe that there is a medicine that is a can fix your entire metabolic life. I think some of the ways, particularly here in the West, in the US, that we have our relationship with food can be problematic and it is not necessarily the healthiest way to handle things to only deal with medicines. But for those who might need a temporary boost to get in the direction they're going and they're willing to deal with the financial costs, they're willing to deal with the side effects, they're willing to deal with those risks, this could be an option. Um, so talk to your doctor about it if you think this is a thing that might work for you. But again, I don't know that this is a slam dunk perfect medicine for everybody. I think there are problems with it. I think there are limitations to what it can do, but it does pretty good for the first year at least. Try and stay safe out there, y'all.